This is the Maltra cam. Just to preface this, I don't like putting the camera here. <laughs> but you can see the knives and you should be able to get some good footage, so. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are mulching. And wouldn't you know, I'm stuck. Down there. Look at that. Pulled off the road. Because I thought this was a lot. It's not. It's that one. And. Yeah. That's yeah, real soft. So we're going to unload the skid steer. And hopefully that'll free it up. So the camera's actually recording level. It's not level, but it's recording level. So let's see if we can't get this machine off without going crazy. First, let's just find out what angle we're at. 10, 11 degrees. Ooh. We are just sliding down the hill sideways. I think it got worse. So, now I gotta <laughs> recover again. Um, so I think I'm just gonna hook change the front bumper and then put it in neutral, leave it in neutral, try and pull it straight with the machine. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in once I get to the where we're going and then uh, we will uh, go from there. <laughs> Honey Badger working its hydraulics pretty hard, but we're getting it. We gotta go right here. Well, 259 you saw in the iPhone video did pull it through. We uh, made it out and then got stuck. So I'm gonna try and slide it through the ditch with some uh, track speed and uh, we'll see if we can make it. Just had to take me back to my snow driving days and rock it back and forth. Woo wee! Made it. That is uh, quite a ditch there though. Look at that. We found garbage. That's uh, over a foot deep probably. That guy down there is the, uh, with the flashing lights. It's the DOT. 
he's gonna have fun fixing of this rut these ruts but let's turn the truck off get our grease gun out and uh get to work let's get our uh fan blowing we're obviously not gonna have ac because caterpillar but once the heat turns off blows that out it'll be good the machine is going in for 250 hour service that's a little late but whatever 250 hour service is probably next week we get to that i don't know and uh they're gonna fix the ac gonna fix the door um yeah all that stuff so you already know what it's gonna say let's get to work
good so far. Actually, we'll just walk it. Huh. Parkour! So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see the back. But, this is a, a quarter of, basically, of the property. It's five acres. Um, actually, no, it wouldn't be a quarter. I don't know. We gotta do, basically, gotta double this here, and that's uh, two and a half acres. So, we're gonna double that now. Get all this mulched. I'm assuming, I'm hoping that this will go a little faster because as you can see, the tree line is different. So I'm assuming the soil is different. Hope the palmettos are a little lighter. This side. Wow, I got the front and the back off. There, that's cool. I guess we'll try and get the uh, the back on first. And if we back up, now let's see what happens. Thirteen it is. 
I don't think it's actually a 13. The 13 doesn't make sense. The half makes sense. Yeah. This is made in. This is made in America. So you gotta get this cover off. And hook it. And there it comes, oozing out. It don't take much, but also as you can see, there's these little hooks, right? Um, that needs to be over in the middle wheel of this uh, of the track, not outside of it. I mean, there's a lot of gunk in that wheel. Probably should clean out my tracks more often, huh? Yeah, whatever. Let's uh, see if that is enough. Nope, definitely worse. Not worse, but... <sighs> Making progress, though. Those little, there's a bunch of little trees. We'll go through when we're done, kind of pick the, the crappy ones, get rid of them, and uh, it'll be much more open. But it is gonna be a lived on property, so some trees are good. Let's get this back on. Well, we got the front back on. So that bug, that bug was almost on. So I think I'm gonna drive forward. And, and twist that wheel out, push that wheel out, so hopefully it'll pop on the track. And then we just gotta grease it tight. <laughs> Caterpillar tours suck so bad. I don't care what you say. Well, turning is to be more difficult. Yeah, I know. There's a sensor that detects the differences between, uh, you know, drive speed I'm calling for and what the tracks are actually doing. That might be it, actually. That felt funny. <laughs> it worked! On and on. So, I'm gonna scoop that grease out. Get new grease, put it in there. Whoops, on and on. Um, gonna get new grease, put it in there. It's gonna tighten it up as much as possible. We gotta back it up, tighten it up some more because look at this gap here. And it's shoved up against a little hill there. So, yeah, this is that new, new uh, rounded track design. It's real free flowing. Oh. All right. Hopefully, you can see the track. That's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure my grease gun's out, but. So that is what we mulched today. It's about two and a half, uh, two and a quarter acre actually. Um, yeah, a little less than that, two, two and a tenth maybe. Um, this, this is the two and a half line. That's not done. And there's a little bit here that needs to be done. Another 25, 30 feet. Um, so maybe two, two point one acres. But I did that with with uh, a 74 horsepower machine. So, in a day. So, I got here at nine and it is five right now. So, um, pretty good, can't complain, right? Not too bad, not too bad. We only, oh yeah, that track's loose. 
Gonna tighten that tomorrow too. Look at see that? Too loose. Too loose. Let's see what the mulch knives look like. Oh yeah. What is this? This is uh two this is three acres in. They look pretty good still. Three acres of 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 cutting. I think it's three acres. Anyways, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go home. We gotta do some work at home. I gotta call some of you guys, some some clients, some friends. Um, on the way home, and uh, oh, let me close those windows. And then, uh, what are we doing tonight? Oh, we might uh, hang out outside tonight. Might it might be winter where you are, but in Florida, it's nice outside at night. It's like 70s, 60s. Uh, it's, it's, it was 85 yesterday, and that was just annoying because. Oh, I wasn't even working yesterday. I was at home in the office all day. Was, that's, it was annoying because when I went outside, it was like, it punched you in the face heat, which is summertime normal, but not wintertime normal. So I like when it's cool, like right now, I'm, I'm not even sweating. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. This is why I drove to the other side. I just don't want to drive. I have to drive through that to get fuel. And then, look at my tires, look at my wheels. I gotta drive through that to get fuel, then back to get back on property, and yeah, that's probably gonna vibrate. Mm. Ah. Yeah, it'll definitely vibrate a little bit, but it's okay. I just washed this too. I'm gonna spray it off when we get home before it hardens, but uh, yeah, let's drive home. Let's chew up some palm meadows with uh, our F80 forest mulcher and uh, clear this land up. Bit. Subscribe!
So obviously we're rough melting. It's knocking it all down. Uh, today's a short day, so I had an appointment to go to this afternoon. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow to finish knocking everything down. And then we start back dragging. Uh, the reason I knock it down like this is so the palm material, this stuff, can start to dry. And once it starts to dry, it, it's uh, much easier to process into much finer mulch. Um, and then it also lays pretty. So it looks good for Instagram. So, yeah, there we go. Forestry mulching. Well, we hit a snake. Don't hit them very often. But unfortunately, this guy just paid the price. Where's his head? Uh, oh. Uh, it's a black racer. It's a good snake. I'm sorry, bud. Black racers are good because they eat other snakes. They also eat, like, bugs and stuff. I don't know. So. They're good snakes. If you have black racers, leave them alone. Rattlesnakes, leave them alone. Moccasins, kill them! There, 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 there. So there's a property stake right there. There's another one right there. And I don't know what's going on lately, but uh, I've been uh, challenged a lot. There's been the last few jobs all without cell service. There's no cell service out here. Um, it's very challenging to do this with uh, the apps that I use are all based on pretty much cell signal. So I don't have cell signal. Um, I have to just depend on my experience to kind of feel my way through it. The problem <laughs> is that this road is not square with the lot. Um, this road actually has a much steeper angle of approach than um, I thought it did. And the road on the other side, this property actually touches two roads, um, is square. Um, and <laughs> so when I started on that side, it was square and I was pulling a square lot. I thought it would just be a square lot to here. It's not, it's just a little off. So, um, <laughs> we got to figure it out. It took me a bit, um, use my Garmin watch. Um, and so I'm going to be looking into, uh, different solutions. Uh, Trimble, I think is the company. Uh, they make something. Um, a company called Nine Arrow runs them on his Barco and stuff. Um, so hopefully I, we're going to look into it. We're going to come up with a solution that uh, will work without GPS. I also might just boost the sig cell signal with the truck. Um, and uh, that would work on most jobs. On this side it wouldn't because I can't get the, the truck on site. Uh, the, there's, the ditches are too bad. So there's, there's stuff to do. But parkour. Uh, you guys want to subscribe? You want to you wanna subscribe if you want to? Thank you. This is the Maltra cam. Just to preface this, I don't like putting the camera here. <laughs> but you can see the knives and you should be able to get some good footage. So.
It freaks me out. I don't want to break another camera. I went through three GoPros last year and they're $400 each. So it's kind of annoying, but I apologize. I uh, will put you here. How about here? We'll put you right here. Then you're protected by the arm a little bit. That's much better, huh? That works. Everyone's happy? Yeah? All right. So for a lot of companies, this would probably be considered done based on what I've seen when I drive by and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we actually care about our customers. We do care about quality, not about pretty much anything else. Like I just want to do the best job I can with the machines I have on the land provided. So bam, all right. Let's stay in the shade because the camera does weird stuff when it gets in the sun. But that is five acres mulched. Oh, you just saw a car drive by way back there. Um, tomorrow, we're going to pop a few of these small trees, like I said earlier. Um, and then we're going to back drag it and make it pretty. Um, kind of see these like these little stragglers and this vine stuff, right? Cut all that down. Try and smooth everything out, make it less... Uh, make it look less undulating and uh, hit hot spots like that that I missed. <laughs> There's actually a, a pocket of brush right there that shouldn't be there. So, uh, yeah, I just want to just kind of show you the before the after, right? The step right before the after. Normally, this all gets done in one day um, or in one process, I guess. But my schedule is kind of all over the place. Um, so... We'll be back tomorrow to finish. Um, I'll probably bring in the side-by-side, -side, maybe. Um, 
just to make sure just so i can drive around a little bit faster and check all my dimensions and stuff to make sure that i got it so anyways appreciate it see you soon 11 11 so i'm gonna get a text from lacy with a black heart i bet anyways i don't know let's climb up on top of the machine and do some uh some videos there's a text just came in so that is five acres there's my truck that's five acres that's pretty good the uh People, the clients that are going to live here, they're going to build their house and they have kids and stuff. Um, they're actually going to... See? See that? I don't know if it's showing up. But... There you go. She sent me the heart. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she does every day. Um, they're going to put their house way over there. Um, and they didn't really want like a, a stripped piece of land. They wanted, they wanted the land to have trees and... Um, uh, I'll update on the tree stuff. This land has been in their family for since the 80s, apparently. Um, and about 15 years, 15, 20 years ago, they had uh, all the hardwoods removed. They logged everything. So what's left is basically what the loggers didn't want or what's regrown since then. So there's not much. Just these, these volunteer pines. Um, there's a couple oaks up in the front. Um, and then there's like little baby scrub oaks here, a little baby scrub up there. But that's about it. There's some bay. Nothing crazy. So uh, this is pretty much what we're going to do for now. Once they have more uh, site plans uh, where they're going to put their house and septic and driveway and culverts for their entrances. Whether it's going to be on that road or on that road. There's a lot of decisions that have to be made. Um, so they're going to get that done. Once once we uh, get the, that figured out, we're going to root rake um, and de-stump whatever area the house is going to go in and uh the building area is going to be and that's it and it's off to the races who can, who can you know build the fastest so uh that's five acres doo, doo. with a 259 all right let's get down and take some after pictures without falling bam, bam, bam. oh dropped an airpod all right thanks for guys i will uh have this edited soon, I hope. And uh, if you could, subscribe, share it, tell your friends. We are uh, more committed than ever to YouTube. Uh, I'm really trying to uh, make a thing of it. So, uh, yeah, we appreciate your support. So, until next time, let's get to work. Loaded up and trucking. I guess you actually slid going up the trailer because it's still in the ditch a little bit. We got it. Um, I also wanted to add real quick that uh, this property actually had three survey companies come out and try to do the survey. The third one in the end finally did it. They only marked the property on one side because even, even with them, they said there's something wrong with this property. It's just the way, it's just weird. Um, because of the angle like the property is just just off a little bit and it's technically a 10 acre parcel but because of how long the parcel is um, That little bit off that little twist Is like 50 feet in on the other side of the property even one degree so um, I don't know what their issue was with their stuff um, Other than it took the third company finally to just to get the, the two stakes on the one side um, so when I had issues with it, it makes sense because they had issues as well. GPS doesn't work, cell signals crap, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, speed limit's 55, I'm doing 65. Welcome to Florida. Anyways, we'll see you next time.